Bom dia everyone. So this is the baseline. This is the Mobula 6 HD0. This is the Mobula 6. And this is the Mob Light 7 HD0. This is the Mobile 6. And this is the Mobula 7. So one similarity that all of these tiny whoops and micros have in common is the fact that they are all Express LRS. The other is the fact that they are all tiny whoop boards, so they are 25.5 by 25.5 millimeters. The most distinct of them all is actually the firmware. This is because all of them are using the same exact firmware, and that is the Express LRS v3.0 hex file, especially for this SPI receivers, which actually means um, receivers that are with the flight controller itself and this is all thanks to Phobos who has done this a uh, well, long while back so I'm just doing this video in case any one of you have difficulty with bi the binding process or perhaps you know getting your Mobula 6, Mobula 7 up in the sky or having any problems or troubleshooting the issues so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright so first things first these flight controllers or perhaps the BNF Tiny whoops and micros that you have bought from Happy Model are all flashed with V2.0 Express LRS and perhaps you may have updated your TX to an Express LRS V3. So if that's the case, you definitely won't be able to bind the flight controller to your radio. So I made a video in September last year about the Express LRS V3.0 hex file, but some of you might have missed that and so I'm just going to do one more, you know, just because it has been raining for the past few days and I couldn't go out to fly. <sighs> First up, let's go into the Happy Model website and here is where you will download the hex file needed for your flight controller for Express LRS V3.0. Previously you had the Better Flight 4.4 on the Happy Model website but it's been removed at scars it's a little buggy and it might not work with some of the quads so this particular one will definitely work because I have this particular hex file on all my whoops and micros. So we're going to download that file and make sure you unzip the file and put the file onto your desktop. Then select that particular file that you downloaded Better Flight 4.3.1. Alright, so what we're going to do is flash the firmware, but before we do that, we're going to put the flight controller into DFU mode or bootloader mode. So what we're going to do, we are going to plug in the flight controller while holding on the boot button and this will bring you into DFU mode. So once that is done, you're going to click load firmware local and use that file that we've downloaded on the Happy Model website and then click flash firmware. Next, we're going to go into the binding process. So what you're going to do is go back into Battle Flight and your flight controller and go into the receiver tab. Just check that your channel map is correct, T-A-E-R versus A-E-T-R depending on what you prefer. Then we're gonna get our radio ready. So Express LRS on radio uses Lua script. It could be the Radio Master Zoro, it could be the Radio Master TX16S or any JR modules that you have. They all use Lua scripts. So if you look at my settings, it's set to 500 Hertz and I'm flying this at 100 milliwatts. It hasn't changed. I've been flying 100 milliwatts for a very long time and I never had a reason to go any higher. So from here, you're going to click the bind and then go back to better flight and click bind receiver on that flight control of yours. So you should get some stick inputs and make sure that everything is moving correctly. If it's not, just switch the TAER and AETR on the channel map. Upon unplugging your quad, you should want to hear lost. this, the sound of music. Okay, so let's just say that you did all that and your quad doesn't bind. So next thing to check is of course the 500 hertz or 250 hertz or 150 hertz. Generally, the whoop is set to 500 hertz. So you have your radio set to 250, you might want to bump them up to 500 hertz. Or if your radio is already set to 500 hertz, then you might want to go into CLI and type set express LRS rate index equals to zero for 500 hertz one for 250 hertz and two for 150 hertz all right so let's do a bench test and see how it goes ow, ow. 
all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video really helps you out. So if you have any issues or any problems, please feel free to come and join us on my Discord channel. And we have a small community down there where we help each other with the process of getting you up in the sky and flying again. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao!